Well, hello there, friends. Very simple recipe today. We're gonna make a creme pâtissière. <laughs> it's the uh, custard cream you find in a, a Boston uh, cream donut. You know that beautiful custard in, say, or, or when you have a Napoleon, or when you have a, a strawberry tart, it's underneath there. It's, <laughs> it's a must-have. So it is something you must have part of your, um, your, your, your thing you know how to do. It's gotta be, you could put it on your family cookbook. All right, friends, very simple to make, okay? We got three eggs. We're gonna put a little sugar in there. I got a total of a half a cup of sugar. I'm just gonna bring a little sugar in there, just a little bit right there, just like that. And it'll make it easier to introduce some hot milk in it. You'll understand that in a second, my friends. All right, so we're gonna put this right here. I got two cup of milk right there. And I got the rest of the uh, uh, a half a cup of sugar that I'm gonna put in my milk. And my milk is getting warm right now because I need it to boil in a minute. I got five tablespoons of cornstarch. And I will give you the exact measurement, friends, in the metric, <coughs> excuse me, in the printed recipe. And I got a pinch of salt, pinch of salt. How much is the pinch of salt? There you go, that's another pinch of salt. <laughs> <coughs> we're gonna put about a tablespoon, a teaspoon, of, sorry, of vanilla. Oh, that was a healthy teaspoon of vanilla. You know, I like to do everything healthy. And then we got two ounces of butter that we're gonna put in in a minute. All right, friends, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna mix all this up, really, really simple. And then we're gonna introduce some warm milk into the egg. And then we're gonna bring all this down here and then we're gonna bring it to boil. It's really, really simple, eh? Let me tell you, I always say you put it in dessert, you put it in thing, <laughs> you put it in nothing, you just eat it by itself, it's not good. All right, so what we're gonna do here, friends, we're gonna take a little bit of the hot milk. Now, you'll have to forgive my, uh, my hand because I'm not very good, I'm not very good. I got some cold stuff that's not been mixed up yet. You see, I can see it right there, so let me just mix it up a little more here, friends, so then I don't take it with me. And then, uh, uh, yeah, I'm not very good with my left hand, but the position that I have things in, I'm just gonna have to go. So we go right there, we put a little bit of the hot milk. Let's make sure I don't come and boil over. In the egg, so I temper the egg. Otherwise you'll have scrambled eggs, you see? That's a nice way to put it in. It's very important to do this, friends. Otherwise, and those eggs are beautiful. Look how beautiful yellow they are. They're free range eggs, they're beautiful. See, now they're introducing a little bit of warm milk in there. All right, so then we don't have scrambled eggs. All right, I'm gonna put this out of the way. And then I'm gonna take my whisk and I'm gonna introduce my eggs right in there. You know, you see, beautiful. Now the second this come to boil, friends, the second that they come to boil, let's clean this up really good. The second this come to boil, and I'm gonna make sure the heat is on. <laughs> Uh, it's gonna be thick right away. See, it don't take long. It don't take long, it's very, very smooth. Remember now, you gotta really, really mix. The minute you put this on, friends, you gotta really, really, really mix until it thicken. It's gonna take seconds, really seconds. I want you to see it. You see, see it's getting thick, it's getting thick. And then I'm gonna show you the right way to cool it, my friends. So you see, look, it's beautiful, nice and thick. Okay, stop. The minute it comes to a little boil, you're good to go. Now, you see, nice and smooth, right? Now you're gonna take your butter, and you're gonna mix it in. Fast, fast, so it doesn't separate. You see, remember, butter is an emulsion. You see? And this, my friends, you can rub it all over your body. <laughs> or you can put it in your donuts. Or you can put it in your Napoleon, or in your custard pie. Oh, mama mia, so many desserts you can make. Look at this, beautiful, right? Turn it off. Now we're gonna take it. We're gonna put it in a, oh, I got a bowl right there. I'm gonna take it right there in a bowl, you see? Look how beautiful, my friend, look at this. You see how beautiful and smooth that is? That's a beauty. That's a beauty, my friends. So now, now we're gonna take it. Oh yeah, that's a beauty. <laughs> now here's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna take it, very important now. Next step, my friends. Very important. Okay, we're gonna take a plastic film and we're gonna put it on top. Not on top of the bowl, on top of the custard. I'll show you. I go in, on top of the custard. 
It's very important. Do it when it's hot. Otherwise, you know what's going to happen, right? The milk is going to um, create a crust. Put it right on top of it. It'll come right out. You see? Right on top of it. See? Right there. On top, on top, on top. Now, if you're in a hurry and you need it to cool faster, you put it in a lasagna pan. And it'll be uh, thinner and it'll cool much faster. Otherwise, you do this. You can wrap it again one more time to be safe, to make sure it doesn't absorb any order in the fridge. Let it cool for about an hour, room temperature, and then put it in the fridge. If you leave it overnight, it's even better. So it's nice and, 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 and it's got the right consistency. You'll see tomorrow. Perfect. Friends, I'm going to leave it in the fridge overnight, and I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, friends. Well, here it is the next day. And uh, your plastic film should just come right out, you see. And, uh, and, and the custard is right there. And if you look at it, it's gorgeous, you see. It's beautiful, smooth as silk. You see right there, friends? It's gorgeous. And you put it on the, on, inside the donuts, on an eclair, on a napoleon, on, on a fruit tart. It's, it's gorgeous, you see? Mix it up a little bit if you have to. Uh, put it on the pie, it might be easier. Otherwise, just put it in a pastry bag and pop it and pipe it in a donut. It's delicious. And, uh, and it's one of my favorite things to eat. Mmm, oh. mmm. <laughs> Sometimes I get that Boston cream donut just for the cream on the inside. Friends, I hope you make it. Remember, that's something you should know how to make. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to ring the bell. Thanks for watching.